If you're from San Diego, I apologize for what I'm about to say, but I've never met any drivers like San Diego drivers. They literally feel like they own the roads, okay? And I'll, I'll give you a case in point. This is a San Diego driver that just got a ticket for turning right on red, and here's what he went and did. This, just, just, this recently just happened. He came back with an ax and proceeded to try to cut the sign down. Now, now let me tell you something. This guy's angry because he was caught, but how many of you know there's a reason that law was in place? There's a reason it says no right turn on red. There's a reason. Maybe there had been some accidents where people had lost their lives. Maybe there was an inner, maybe there was a blind spot that, that, that the authorities knew that, that if he would just listen to the correction, he would go in the right direction. You know what Satan wants? Satan wants you to get angry with God so that he can get your spirit off. Satan wants you to listen to a message like this and say, no one told me what to do. No, no one, no one, no. Listen, correction is confirmation of our connection with him. He wants to protect us. He wants to direct us. He wants to guide us and our heart in the way. And so one of the greatest books that C.S. Lewis ever wrote, if you ever can read it, it's a hard book to read, and he said it was the hardest book for him to write. The book is called The Screwtape Letters, and it's a, it's a perspective from Satan on how he would ruin Christianity if he could. And so the whole book is, is, is screw tape, this, this demon talking about how he's going to distract and deceive and throw these Christians off. It's crazy. But one, of the, one, of the, one of my favorite quotes in this book, if you've never read it, I would really encourage you to read it, but one of my favorite quotes in this book says this, people are daily told that they ought to love themselves that their main duty is to themselves, and so as long as they are sincere, they are justified. Can I tell you, that is the opposite of Christianity. And, and that is the opposite of what Jesus is saying. Jesus is saying, hey, there's going to be some times where I'm going to tell you what you're not going to want to hear. There's going to be some times I'm going to prune you, and here's the key to the pruning. It's verse 1. If you've never seen this, I hope that you'll catch this and hold on to it. He says, I am the true vine. Can you say that with me? I am the true vine. The word true here is the word for genuine or the actual one. I'm the tried and true. Like there are false vines, but I'm the true one. I'm going to tell you something that I really want you to hear because I, I, I love you. And that is there are false ideas of who God is. There are gods of our own making. I want to tell you one that is so prevalent, it's comfort Christianity. It's saying, I'm connected as long as it's easy, but if it gets difficult, I'm out. And Jesus is saying, no, 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 You're, we're connected in a relationship when it's hard and when it's easy, when it's good and when it's bad. It's it, when the storm is raging and when the mountaintops and butterflies and rainbows, I'm there in the good times, but I'm also there in the bad. I want to tell you, when you're connected to the true vine, you're connected to him, not based on what you want him to be, but based on who he is. 